Hi. Today I will share with you, veneer bud grafting technique. In this video you will see, a successful grafting of the mulberry, to another mulberry tree. This slide, and then the short animation, shows how the veneer bud grafting should be performed. The best thing to wrap the veneer bud grafting is, the grafting tape, however if you cannot get that, then you can use electrical tape or create wrapping media as shown here, with normal plastic bags. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with others. Sterilize your cutting blade with solution or fire. To give you a clear idea about this technique. I have performed the removal of the bud, in next two video, before performing it, in the actual section. I would like to mention, that you can click the CC icon below the screen, to see the explanation in writing too, also if you like to translate this video, in other preferred language you can help me with it by following the link in description. You're welcome to share this video with others in your social networks too. Select the section you want to graft, clean the surrounding area, from leave-in sections, then make a vertical cut on the top and bottom of the bud. Now, make a horizontal cut through the skin on the both side and carefully remove the bud, as shown in the video.
I will be posting new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe. Place the bud you removed to the rootstock and carefully make same cut around the rootstock and remove the skin carefully. The removed skin should match the bud size, both vertically and horizontally. Make sure to put the bud in target tree in right direction. If you put it in reverse direction, the bud will not grow. If you're not sure about that, you can check the buds and leaves, and compare it with similar tree, to see if you're doing the graft, in the right direction. Now, insert the bud sections carefully into the rootstock. Make sure to align the top and sides of section and rootstock. Wrap the grafting joint with the grafting tape or other media nicely. Here I use the nylon strip, which I made earlier as it is shown. Now, cover it with a clear nylon to protect it from drying out, but make a small ventilation cutting plastic. Also it is good idea, to cover the nylon with paper or paper bag to protect it from the direct sunlight. The bud started growing after two weeks, and following slides and videos, shows the growth of the bud under the nylon and then, after the nylon and wrapping tape are removed. I will be posting new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe.
as it can be seen, the bud is healed nicely, 